Good morning and welcome back to the Dogs Watch It's channel. We are back on Skybound. Um, no, that hasn't worked, does it? Technical difficulties as usual. Why is it not showing the right screen? Right, so, I've been a little busy. I have sorted storage, finally. So, I've built another platform ready for where the house is going. Don't have enough materials to build the house yet, so I'll be doing that off stream today. Finally got enough keys, enough coins, so that we can go and do... But yeah, there are beehives everywhere. I know this is the Buzzy Bees update, but with all the trees we've been chopping, we have gotten so many beehives. I set up the fishing trap, only to discover we don't have a power token for it. <laughs> it didn't give us one of those, and this thing will not let me move it. I've tried with an empty hand, which is how you're supposed to move it. So yeah, we're going to have to water bucket that away. Um, yeah, there's a few things that still need moving and adjusting and yeah, usual stuff, but we did get a gold coin finally. <clears throat> so yeah, storage is now sorted out so it's a bit easier to manage. I know where everything is, but it will get signed at some point. Well, it'll get item framed at some point. I know where most things are, she says, hunting for stuff. Right, so let's go and play Catch the Chicken, which is our mission. And then off stream. I will work on sorting the house out unless we end up with another thing we have to do. Go to the arcade and play catch the chicken. Ah, that's going to give us a power token. Cool. But we're probably going to need that for something else. Because we're not actually supposed to have the fishing trap yet. Uh, that was given to us, was it from the loot chest we got it? Hello Cyan. Yeah, if you want to know where all the secrets are, watch Cyan Saber's videos, because he knows where they all are. Right, so we're going to the arcade. That one's library. Where's the arcade gone? That one. We're going to go fail at playing Catch the Chicken. <laughs> But yeah, in here there's quite a few different cool games. There's find the button, catch the chicken, craft the item, shoot the target. We have reasonable luck with that one from what I remember last time. Parkour, which I did go in once just to show it. I'm no good at parkour. So it costs one gold coin. Right, we've got 45 seconds to find the chicken. And he is gold in colour. How are we 
we're supposed to get up there, that vine probably. I haven't even heard him yet. No, nope, so he's not up there. Yep, we failed. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I haven't even seen him. <laughs> but yeah, somewhere in there there'll be a gold chicken running around that we didn't see. But yeah, surprise, surprise, we failed. <laughs> All that hassle to get a gold coin. But hey, her, at least that's another mission completed. Hello, it's me! <laughs> that's the skin I'm wearing at the moment. I didn't look in to see where it was I got the skin from to see if it was one of their games. Right, we've completed that task. We've got a lucky block and a power token. It's time to visit the safari zone and catch some critters, but first you'll need to buy a safari pass from the hunter villager. Okay, so we're going to need some coins for that, and the rewards for buying the pass will be a bug net and glass bottles. Okay, so we need some more coins. We have a power token and a lucky block. We are not opening the lucky block on the island. I'm not that stupid. Honest. Um, bottles are supposed to be over here. Yeah, we need to start looking into an enchanting setup because we are going up the levels. I have to have my bed facing the sunset, even though I barely get to see it. But yeah, bed has to face the sunset. And in the distance, you would have seen there's another island over there. That's just other player island. You can't actually get over there. There's a barrier in the way. But yeah, for all the different colours that we saw. Those are different islands. So that this can be set up as a realm. Or you can allow friends on. If you can get them on your worlds. And everyone can have different coloured passes. And it's only if you want them to come to your island they can. So if you want them to come, you get yourself an extra pass here using the Get Island Pass. And then you can give them a pass to your island. I've never actually tried it as a realm, but I know some other people have. <clears throat> So I know it can run as a realm, if you so wanted, but we're going to go and open this lucky block. We're going to go do it over here though, where it doesn't matter if we cause any damage. Because yeah, these lucky blocks are not always very nice. Right, is it going to be a good one or a bad one? Let's find out. It's a bad one. Can we get out in time? <laughs> I nearly got out. <laughs> right, let's go and have a look at it and see if there was anything useful we could pinch. 
I don't think there will have been, but we'll have a nursery. Zoom. Right, so there was no goodies to be had at all. It's just a glass box with some bars containing water. I love how it's purple water though. <laughs> but yeah, that will live there forever. That's my little mining area where I go and pinch all sorts of blocks. That's how I'm able to expand the island so quick. I should really set up the dirt chicken on a hopper. Yeah, I will get that done off stream today so that we can be collecting dirt. I think we're probably going to build our house out of blackstone because we do have the blackstone bee. Um, I usually build out a concrete but that is very grindy. So we shall see, it might be a combination. Right, hello clunker. We are looking for the hunter dude. That's you. And we need three copper coins for a safari pass. Do we have enough? We do. Right, so we're going to go to the safari zone in a minute. We're just going to go and check the quest book. It's time to visit the sea. Yeah, 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 we did that. Now you have your safari pass, it's time to catch some bugs. Visit the safari zone at night and catch a firefly in an empty bottle. And that will give us another power token, an uncommon loot key, and a prize box red. Ooh. Right, so let's pop some stuff away, get ready to go. Right, it's midday at the moment and it wants us to be there at night. <clears throat> right, so we could do with some more glass bottles. We have three. We have a lot of water bottles here, so let's get them emptied. Don't need water sources, do we, because of that. So, can we just drink them? Yep. Because the more glass bottles we've got, the more things we can catch while we're in there. And it gave us a net, didn't it? Yep. Alright, so we've got six bottles. Let's go to the safari zone. So is it just a crouch and pre No, this one you go to the gates, I think. Right, so now we've got to find the safari zone. Alright, so our kids, the, the, that way. <coughs> The giant Jurassic Park style gates. That's where we're going. With our pass in hand, if I remember right. And here we are. In this area, you can go around and catch various bug types which can then be sold to the hunter villager in the market area. In order to catch the little critters, you'll need a bug net. 
There are three redstone lamps around the safari zone with buttons on them. And that's how you get that. Only certain insects will come out in the day and certain ones at night. So be on at hunt. On the hunt. Golden insects are worth a lot more. You don't have to sell them if you want to collect them. Snails like to swim. Fireflies can only be caught in glass bottles. Okay, so snails don't need bottles. There we go. Okay, so the bug net has a life on it. So we don't want to wear it out before night time. Ah, we didn't make ourselves a sword either because things do spawn in here at night. It's not lit up properly. These are the spawners that make the bugs. Is that a golden one I can see? Nope, that's a yellow flower. But yeah, this area is very pretty. Right, so these are the buttons to get back. I see bubble. Ooh. Come here. I can also see fireflies. They're not supposed to come out till night, it said. Do we need glass jars for them? I think we do. We got one! And that's our mission complete. Let's see if we can get some more. They're not easy to catch. Come on, bugs. Right, night time is approaching. So we don't want to be here for too much longer because, like I said, there are mobs and we didn't bring a sword. I would like to get some coins from here. Come on, buggies. We got one. Right, so that's all our bottles filled up. <clears throat> See what we can catch with the nets now. We 
here, this area is very pretty. But I know last time I only came in here the once. Right, so we just seem to be getting a lot of fireflies. I'm not really seeing much else. Did it say snails are in the water? Watch out for bubbles. But our snail we found on land, didn't we? We're not really seeing much. see any bubbles. But snails could be a daytime thing. It's probably just moths at night. What was it that we caught? Ender dragonfly. There's a moth. Gotcha. So what are you? You're a peppered moth. See around here we just get loads of dragonflies. We don't seem to be getting any mobs this time, they must have changed that. There's another button to get back. More fireflies, we don't need those. Our bottles are full of those. So yeah, that's the only thing that's going to spawn around here, isn't it? This giant white flower looks very cool. It's very pretty. Let's ride the waterfall bubbles. Anything down here? Don't see anything. It might just be the fireflies causing bubbles. Come on, give me some more moths and butterflies and dragonflies. That's what we want. Things I can catch in the net. Take it, snails don't come out at night, I'm guessing. Because we haven't seen any more of those. Hello, you. You are an oak silk moth.
Come on, the night should be due for changing now. <clears throat> we should be coming up for daytime. It's getting a little brighter. I see something. Another peppered moth. Alright, so let's just wait for the sun to come up and see what butterflies we get. All snails. <sighs> Let me have ya. <laughs> Some sort of barrier block in the way there. And of course he's gone over that way. Missed it, didn't I? Where'd he go? Here we go. That was a pretty butterfly. That was the pink rose butterfly. Oh, what are you? You must be a gold one because you're giving off particles. Come back down here, please. Nope. Come. A swallow tail butterfly. Getting loads of things appearing now. Ooh, you're pretty. Thank you. You're another gold one. Come back! I want you! Oh, and there's a purple one up there as well. Down here. It's just teasing me now. The gold ones are hard to catch. <laughs> My bug catching skills are not very good as you can see. <laughs> Come on. Thank 
thank you. Right, I think one more before the net goes bang. Oh, okay, two more. Come here. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not very good at catching bugs. <laughs> oh, you would appear here, wouldn't you? You're everywhere. At least you look a little cooler than the usual wandering trader. We'll have a snail. Because why not? Oh, a gold snail. We'll have you. Right, and that's our net broken. So, we have got a grizzled skipper butterfly, a golden garden snail, two pond snails, two peppered moths, an emerald dragonfly, two river cruiser dragonflies, a peacock butterfly, green hair streak butterfly, apple snail, um, carpet moth, Right, so let's go and sell these guys. But yeah, these would look cool in item frames on walls, wouldn't they? <laughs> right, so now we need a button to exit. A redstone lamp. There was one there, wasn't there? Right, we are out. So if we want to go back in there, we've got to buy another pass and another net, because we've used ours up. So, Mr. Hunter Dude, do you want to buy some of my bugs? Animals and insects, and bring them to me. Cheers, adventurer. Cheers, adventurer. Cheers, adventurer. Cheers, adventurer. Cheers, adventurer. Right, so we have some others, but we can't, we haven't unlocked them yet. That's a shame. So we didn't even get our coins back that we... Do you buy fireflies then? No. So what was the point in the fireflies then? Mister, that wasn't fair. Right, another mission complete. If you didn't know already, you can compress certain block types by placing them in a 3x3 grid in your crafting table. Compressed blocks can be used with a heavy sieve. Craft compressed gravel. Okay, that we can do. And that's going to give us another power token. Nice. Right, so we need a chest for all the bugs. That'll be this one. Oh, but we have got an uncommon loot key and a red prize box. So, let's see what we get in here. Lots of food and a key. We've got a common loot key, rabbit stew, cakes, cooked chicken, apples, yeah. Lots of food types. Could have been better. Right, we've got a couple of keys. We're going to start saving the keys up for better keys. Right, so we now have two power tokens, so we're going to use one of them on the fishing machine. There we go. It is now fishing. It didn't collect that dirt, that was me. <laughs> 
Right, how long till it collects something? It does have its own storage, but that does very quickly fill up. I say very quickly, it hasn't actually caught anything. But as it's just running passively in the background, well, I hope I've set it up right. Let's go and have a read of the book for it. I know last time I put a hopper around it. Um, fishing traps. The fishing trap is mainly used to collect fish automatically, but sometimes it might also pick up extra things. The fishing trap must be in water for it to function. Just place it down in a water source and that's it. You will see a particle to let you know that it has successfully caught something. The goods will be in the centre of the trap for you to collect. Yeah, well I've put a hopper under it. Uh, the automatic fishing trap is a bigger, better version of the regular fishing trap. It will catch a variety of things including treasures from fishing. A power token is required and it needs to be in water to function. Okay, but it's not saying it. Yes, it should work. It's not saying it's got to be a 3x3 three three of water or anything like that. And the sun's going down. Look at that gorgeous sunset. And there you can see another island in the distance. No idea what colour that one is. But yeah, you can't get over to it. I have tried before. Right, so let's go check our fishing trap and see if it caught anything. Nope, nothing as yet. Okay, I might try to have a tinker around with that off stream to get it working. Could always add the hopper in later. So far nothing, I don't remember it taking that long. So yeah, maybe a waterlogged hopper isn't the right way to do it. Cause so far nothing. Right, how long we've been going? Yep, that'll do. Right, so I hope you enjoyed. We will continue with some quests next time. I will try and get the house built, or at least get it started. And I will see you next time for some more. So please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.